Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make an envelope gift card holder. I am inspired by myself. Apparently we're having a Glitter Queens blog hop on my blog and my team decided to pick me for their inspiration. So that meant I have to score through my YouTube channel and also my blog to see a project that I could redo and get inspired by myself. So this was the project and this is the envelope inside. So it holds money, a check, gift card, um, maybe even some candy in there, but it's so cute. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to be using the Highland Heather, and this piece is cut at four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. We're going to score that here in a minute. Let me give you all the other measurements. We have the basic black. This is cut at one and seven eighths by four and an eighth, and then the lemon lime twist, which is cut at one and a half by four. And for the front panel, which is for the greeting, which is right here on the card, this measurement is the basic black is cut at two and three quarter by three and three quarter. The Highland Heather is cut at two and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then the Whisper White is cut at two and a half by three and a half. So let's right. grab our trimmer. Okay, so on the nine and a quarter inch side across the top, we're gonna score this at three and a half and then slide it down to seven and a quarter. Or you can take that three and a half inch score line right here and line that up at three and three quarter. So either way, but I'm using the seven and a quarter inch score line. Okay, so then this is gonna make your holder part of the card. Just like that. Cute. All right, let's move the trimmer. So let me go ahead and burnish these score lines. Okay, so we're gonna grab some grid paper. We're gonna do some stamping on the Whisper White. Okay, so we're gonna use the Highland Heather and the Lemon Lime Twist with the Memento ink. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and stamp our greeting. Let me show you the stamp sets we're using. The Tropical Chic we're gonna use for the leaves, this one and this one, and then also You're the Greatest. And then the Broadway birthday is going to be, it's your birthday, let's celebrate you for the inside of our little holder. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and stamp the You Are the Greatest. And then we're going to stamp the leaves and everything around that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp over here to the right. You Are the Greatest. And then we're just going to fill in the white space with all the leaves. So we're going to use the Highland Heather with the larger leaf. That beautiful. Love it. Okay, so that's all the stamping for the leaves. Let me grab some Whisper White. Okay, so this is what I'm going to stamp on the Whisper White piece in the, in the Memento ink, and it says, it's your birthday, let's celebrate you. So what I did is I'm just going to stamp this, and then I would hand cut that out, pin at the ends, and I went ahead and already did one, and I layered that with the Lemon Lime Twist as well. So this is going to go on the inside of my little holder. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the inks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put our layers together really quick, and then we'll focus on the envelope part of the card. Okay, so let's build our envelope. These are the Whisper White envelopes. They're also available in the Very Vanilla. So all you're gonna need is just one envelope, and I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Trimmer again. Okay, so the side with the flap, we're going to put into the trimmer. So we're gonna cut the bottom of the envelope, and we're gonna line this edge up at three and a half. And we're gonna remove that bottom section of the envelope. Okay, so now it should look like this. Okay, then we're going to turn it over and we're going to cut that flap off as well. Okay, so now this is your envelope, or what was of your envelope. Let's move the trimmer now. Okay, so this is our envelope. Now we're going to take our sides of the envelope. We're going to push in the side that's folded out. We're going to push it in, and then we're just going to fold it back on itself. So we're going to fold it back like this. 
and then fold that to match up on that side just like that okay so hopefully that makes sense let's do another one so this is folded out so we're going to punch that in fold it in and then fold it back on itself just like that and then line the back side up with that edge this is going to make your little envelope pocket for the inside of the card. Let's bring in our card so see this is going to sit right inside of that just like that. Okay so we're just going to go ahead and burnish those edges so it lays flat. There we go. So now this is going to be the holder part of the card on the inside. So we're going to put adhesive on the back side first. Set this in the inside of our card just like that. Okay, then we're going to put adhesive only on this section right here. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this section up on the card, just like that. So this is going to make your little pouch. Isn't that cute? So we're going to go ahead and put our greeting here on the front, just like that. So we're going to put adhesive only along the top edge. Just like this. And then you have a little section here to put this greeting here. So we're going to put the birthday greeting message on the inside right here. And then I have a Quiznos gift card. I'm just going to put that in the pocket. Isn't that cute? Love it. So of course you can add some Wink Estella or some glitter. It's totally up to you. But what a cute little gift card holder. So then here's the other one. Okay, so that's it. So I have all the items listed below, and then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. And then I also post the link to the older video that I posted 10 years ago on this envelope. Okay, all right, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.